Well, hi there, pluckers. I've a finger again with you. Uh, thanks indeed for joining me for a quick uh, guitar lesson. This is uh, a request I've had for uh, another song by um, Mom Jeans, and this one's called Subs Quietly. Okay, now then, um, I'm not going to sing it to you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fairly repetitive number, it's just played in different styles from time to time. Okay, so the basic, I mean, standard tuning, no capos, as you can see, right? And it, the introduction, I'll show you the introduction to start with, and it's a arpeggiated A bar chord to F sharp minor bar chord to D to E, right? And the D is in the bar chord, played bar on the fifth fret, and you bar the fourth, third, and second strings with your third finger on the seventh fret. Okay, you can play it like that if you want using three fingers, but most people play it like that. Okay, and then the E chord is exactly the same shape as the D chord, but it's played the bar on the seventh fret and barring with the third finger on the ninth fret. Okay, so that's how it starts off. It does one, sort of arpeggiated. Second time round, exactly the same. So he gets to the D. It goes okay. So it once once arpeggiated and goes up one fret, one stroke E. Okay, so whole whole intro. into the verse, okay, and that's very similar. I mean, you can do put more of a sort of chick, and does this about three times this little sequence, okay, and then it gets heavier. sequence heavier, more strident, and then it goes into this D, sort of, it's, I think it's like a D uh, major 7th really, it's a sort of a okay, so that's that's on where it goes best friend, if you, if you know the number well, and it's basically, uh, the chord is um, I'm playing first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, second finger is on the fifth fret of the fifth string, uh, my third finger is on the second uh, string on the fifth fret, okay, and finally the pinky is going into the sixth fret of the fourth, uh, sorry, third string, third string, sixth fret with pinky, okay, so you've got. That's what it should sound like if you hit five, four, three, two, okay? And that's played fairly strident, okay? So it's And then up to an E chord that we played before, E bar chord up on the uh, seventh and ninth fret, okay? And then it goes back to the sequence of A to F sharp minor to D to E, uh, fairly heavy sort of strumming, okay? Okay, it does that for a while. Uh, and then it breaks into another pattern where it goes... Another same chords, different pattern. Okay, so I say after it's done that sort of um, best friend bit, where it goes, so it goes, uh, it breaks into the heavier bit first after the quiet bit, and it goes, uh, sorry, uh, so it comes out of the quiet bit, so it goes to the heavier bit. And it goes into that chord. The E chord, and then 
heavier bits, quite heavy strumming. Does that for a while. And then it breaks into this. Same chords, different rhythm. Okay, same chords, different. Okay, and then it breaks into just single stabs on each chord. Does that for a while. It just goes um, something like that at the end, okay. But it's all the same sequence of chords, okay. So the only different chord really is that uh, D major seven, and just the rest of the song is just A, F sharp minor, D, and E in various rhythm patterns, okay? So just listen to the song and um, play along with the song and you'll get it, I'm sure. It's, uh, it's all it is, okay? So thanks for watching and listening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.